of saying good morning, I'm saying good afternoon. It's my, uh, uh, it's my uh, last, uh, late speech, uh, but uh, I would like to start my speech, my presentation from a nightmare because uh, <laughs> uh, is this picture actually at, uh, was taken a few days ago by a non author and it's very nice, I liked it because you can see everything here, you can see the city at the same time, traffic, and you can compare United States and Azerbaijan as, uh, together because uh, as we uh, saw before, such pictures, such traffic jams uh, 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 occurred in the United States and other developed countries. But uh, what's my you know, transition to other points that uh, actually it's a good starting. It's not me, but we have so many creative things to do. Uh, what? Help. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, just uh, I would like to uh, show you some two pictures. Two pictures uh, showing us uh, flying cars. I, I think most of you remember uh, the movie Back to the Future. Do you remember that? Uh, it was uh, actually in, in my uh, childhood, uh, it was my wish to buy this car in 2015, but uh, it's already uh, two, three years left to this date, uh, and I would like to ask from Hollywood uh, producer, where's your car? But instead of having this car, just we have this car from MIT, which, which is very lovely, and I liked it, which cost uh, more than $150,000, uh, $50, which is very nice, which is very uh, so convenient, but at the same time, it's not affordable for everyone. But uh, I think uh, one of the day we'll have uh, so many such kind of uh, car gadgets that we'll say, okay, uh, let's think about other things. Let's think about the creativity. Let's think about the creative cities. Uh, so creative city, actually, it's a new notion in urban planning. Uh, in most of the cases, uh, the people think that urban planning is kind of architectural, engineering, sociological, uh, economic, and uh, etc. things. But uh, it doesn't include only uh, those uh, group of things, those group of uh, disciplines. At the same time, uh, you need to have a very uh, sustainable approach for developing. It's one of the things, it's a creative city. Creative city is a new urban planning toolkit for everyone. If you want to see your city uh, uh, <coughs> very developed, at the same time very attractive, you have to follow um, most, most of the rules. Uh, so creative city means, as you see, creative life, creative economy, creative social fabric, at the same time, big event city. Uh, so uh, let's have a parallel with big event city. Big event city actually, uh, such kind of Eurovision song contents be given. Uh, we're expecting uh, just kind of changing of creativeness of the people. At the same time, creativeness of the governors, how they will uh, feed the system, how will they feed new, uh, you know, no, not technologies, I, I would say uh, new creative uh, inventions uh, about uh, you know, city development. And it must be actually singing and welcoming city. You have to see, you know, uh, the sign of the cities around your downtown, around your neighborhood, around your, you know, markets or streets, everywhere. And <coughs> you have to have actually diversity of built up environment. Stop sprawling. That's our first approach. Let's go up. Uh, let's have some kind of different uh, built up uh, buildings kind of the buildings from 19th centuries, 18th centuries, 21st centuries, and 20th centuries together. And let's have a very creative city at the same time. And actually public sh spaces should uh, have attractiveness and uniqueness because of, uh, in, as you see, you, uh, I just I remember one thing. Uh, do you see how many people come to the uh, new constructed, reconstructed actually, Fountain Square? And uh, they took picture, take picture with the girl. Uh, yeah, do you remember? It's kind of new uh, creative thing. But uh, I'm pretty sure the people who created this thing, they didn't think about you know such creativeness of this 
uh, monumentalist uh, creativeness. Because uh, such kind of, uh, let me tell you, uh, such kind of uh, unique experience actually could attract people. And the people will, uh, you know, uh, uh, gathering in these places and in the spaces they can, you know, uh, actually have some fun, have some entertainment at the same time. Uh, uh, but a uh, creative city is not the work of governors. Creative city is work of everyone. You, everyone, is a part of creative city. For instance, today's TED, TED is also a creative city event. It's kind of, uh, we're kind of, you know, uh, brain of creative city. Let's praise us. And uh, creative works force also uh, is a, a main player of creative city. Creative organization and creative business also uh, the major, you know, players of this creative city uh, image building. So, uh, what do you think about the Google? Do you know about the Google? Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry for the question. It's, it wasn't actually a uh, prompt question. Uh, do you know about the you know, new office uh, uh, building of Google and the new work style? Do you have an idea? So how they build the work, how they uh, uh, build the new workspace. Actually, you don't need to go uh, to the work as a, a regular f uh, workplace, uh, as a like routine workplace. You have, you can go, uh, you can you know play, you can talk, you can play domino. Uh, let me say so. And but you can create so many big things. Actually, it's a part of uh, economy of big city. So, which I like here, how it must look like in reality. So in our case, in Baku case, creativeness in most of the cases, uh, I'm assuming that one of the things must be, could be, you know, biking. <laughs> yeah? So because we don't have, we don't have, uh, uh, recently I came back from Europe and I have seen so many people, you know, biking and they are yeah, doing fun. I, I was so jealous that why I don't have such kind of uh, so opportunities to bike, uh, to, drive, to be freedom on my uh, roads. Uh, but instead of to have uh, long kilometers traffic jams. At the same time, what's, uh, uh, so we're calling it's like an obsolete infrastructure, trams. We should keep our obs obsolete infrastructure like a creative city things. So I think you, uh, most of you, uh, so um, such kind of uh, obsolete infrastructure like uh, fabrics uh, and uh, railways and around the city, it's kind of, uh, you know, weird, but uh, actually you can also uh, use it uh, uh, such a tool of uh, creative city. You can create something, and uh, in most of the uh, developed countries, uh, the developers, what they're doing, they're doing, they, uh, you know, reconstruct, uh, they reconstruct actually uh, the old mills to the new uh, office buildings. That's very, very nice because uh, at the same time we have a good experience about that. We, we can see it in uh, our Köhne uh, uh, I mean, uh, landmark uh, case because it was an old mill, old uh, mill building where, uh, uh <coughs> where which was, uh, you know, obsolete uh, in Soviet period, but in 1990s when privatization, you know, has started, Someone said, okay, guys, I'll take this building and we'll construct it. And uh, it was one of the you know, major office buildings in Baku. So it's a new one, new creative city. It's a, like a flying city. Most of the people you know, prepare to have you know, very fun and very excited at the same time, very attractive uh, lifestyle like here because it's a swimming pool on the top of the building in Singapore. I think most of, the, most of you know about this picture and uh, you see, it's, uh, it's not actually, the people wants to go up, up, up. The people wants to have upper life. The people wants to, you know, separate themselves from others and to say, you know, I am on the top of you and I'm seeing the world like that. That's why uh, there are so many skyscrapers in the world. There are kind of, you know, revival uh, around the world to have skyscrapers on the big cities, not even the big cities, and the small cities, not, not middle cities also. So, uh, what do you think? We should uh, 
lifting, oh, I'm sorry, lifting up. I, I, uh, I lift the city or grabbing new territories for you know developing. So in my case, uh, I would say that uh, I would follow to the rules of Edward Glazer, Edward, which is a great urban economist of the world, which is the author of uh, bestseller uh, Cities of Tomorrow, uh, which says that if we'll uh, increase the density, uh, we'll uh, actually uh, will not use 60% of the territory and will uh, have uh, you know, energy efficiency at the same time 60%. Uh, that's why I'm uh, you know uh, activist for uh, density, and I'm saying that density is uh, only one uh, decision, is the only one uh, option for our creative cities. So uh, it, it's that's one uh, one of the my uh, work which I did in my MIT. Yeah, uh, it was uh, it's kind of poster uh, where I would like to say the people that uh, let's have a uh, some kind of uh, negotiation, not negotiation, discussion about our future. You know, uh, if we are creating even the bit bad conditions, and uh, if we, we even we uh, create uh, bad infrastructure and even uh, slum cities or you know mega projects, we need to uh, have some uh, common decisions on that. And I'm pretty sure that without uh, such kind of cooperation, we cannot even. Uh, create, uh, you know, uh, the spaces uh, kind of cooperated, uh, you know, how to say, peace spaces. Peace spaces means that uh, in these spaces you have, to, you can, you know, feel you, yourself like, you know, in a peace, not in a peace, uh, and at the same time you can feel that that's my job also. I also participated in this part. So, uh, which we saw in Baku recent years about, you know, reconstruction and reconstruction and redevelopment process that actually we need to have such kind of uh, 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 adversaries and at the same time corporations as well. So uh, actually I'm very excited about the city and the city is my life and uh, back to my first picture, first, uh, uh, first uh, slide, I would like to tell that uh, actually, it's our work also. We also need to kind of struggle with, uh, not all with traffic, uh, with build up environment also at the same time, uh, with the whole environment at the same time. So uh, one day, uh, I'm, I'm saying one day, maybe one person who is scientist will say that uh, actually these two buses, these two bus drivers, were so creative, were so smart uh, that they could, you know, choose a way uh, to, you know, to deliver the uh, passengers uh, on time to the destination. Thanks so much. <laughs>